In Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 7, we find Solomon making a very important statement. He says, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. But fools, or the unwise, they despise wisdom and instruction. In our day and time, the term fear has come to have a variety of different meanings. But we find that in this passage, it is referring to the reverence that we give to God. It's what we might refer to as a reverential fear. Those who fear God respect Him to the point that they do not want to displease Him. Yes, they also fear His power and would dread facing Him unprepared on the day of judgment. But we find that those who have reverential fear also respect Him as the true and powerful God. Now, this principle can be illustrated by the father and child relationship. A child who truly loves their father will not obey their father out of fear of punishment alone, but also out of love and honor for their father. When Joseph was a servant in Potiphar's house, there was an occasion when he showed the fear that he had for God. You may remember that Potiphar's wife tempted Joseph to commit adultery with her. And day after day, he felt the pain of slavery, and now his master's wife had propositioned him, had made this evil demand of him. And after considering all of the pros and cons of the situation, he came to this conclusion in Genesis 39 and verse 9. He said, How then can I do this great wickedness and sin against God? So, friends, we find the thing that kept him from this sin was the respect that he had for his master and also the fear that he had of God. Now, if we have the proper type of fear for God, this will lead us to do the will of God. In the Old Testament, in Deuteronomy 10 and verse 12, we find that God's people were told, And now Israel... What does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God and to walk in all his ways and to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul? Oftentimes today, though, we find people that want to seek their own laws in matters of religion. They want to change the Bible to please themselves instead of please God. When man does this, they need to understand that they are not displaying a true reverential fear for our Heavenly Father. Why does Solomon say that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge? Well, whenever we consider this, I think the message is one that is quite simple. If we do not have this reverence for God, if we do not recognize him as the one true God of heaven, and we do not understand that the Bible is his true, inerrant, perfect will, then we are not going to put forth the effort that's necessary to study that word, to learn from it, to allow our knowledge to increase. Therefore, Solomon says that the fear of the Lord, having this understanding that we are to respect God and to respect his will, is what leads us then to growing in a knowledge of his word, to seeking out what his word would have us to do. Now, you show me a man or a woman who has a deep respect for a certain author, and I'll show you the same who longs to read and reread all that that author has written. If you truly respect the talents of an author, then you're going to want to read everything that person has written. Well, the reason that millions do not study the Bible is because they do not respect God. They fear other things in this world, and they may... Uh, They may revere other people and look to their abilities and their knowledge and their talents, but they do not look to God because they do not fear God. And those who do not fear God, they're not going to increase in knowledge of him. Therefore, they are going to remain foolish in regard to his will. But when fear is present, 
we find that there is a confidence in the many promises of God and his miracles and in his actions toward mankind. There are things that people do not understand, but because of faith and their fear of God, it leads people to serve. And this kind of fear brings the deepest reverence for God. William Shakespeare once wrote, Rather let my head stoop to the block than these knees bow to any save the God of heaven. We see the majesty of God in our reverence to him. We fear him. And when we have this reverence for God, we find that we have nothing else to fear. Friends, I want to thank you for joining us for our program today and have a blessed day.